Hello everyone, this is Michael from Delare Studios. I'll be looking at uh, the JSON Web API integration uh, on how to integrate uh, a JSON API. Basically, we'll be looking at the array. Uh, I have, I'm going to be using the bracket I hold as my point of uh, coding. And I have a JSON file called results.json. This particular JSON has uh, some functionalities, but majorly we'll be talking about the data and the results. So we have them in arrays. That's we have two array in the result uh, data field. So majorly we'll, we'll get to decode this and uh, speed it out in our HTML file. So I have my index.html which is basically from the bootstrap framework uh, which I actually got it from using the framework, the startup framework initially. Okay. Afterwards, uh, I will take a rundown on how the JavaScript API integration is being done, which is the major focus for this tutorial. Uh, going by the scripts, a script, a script tag, which is the first initialization of a JavaScript, uh, document.ready function. Uh, we're calling on an ID called results, which is picked from uh, the markup, which actually comes in a table format, uh, having the table, the T body, and the row. This is basically the table format from Bootstrap. Uh, whereby you can declare a particular class for your row. Uh, you can decide to add different uh, fields. This can also be changed. But the table actually picks on the athlete results and the ID results we talked about. Okay. We have the main page, which is set to empty. Empty the div that is going to populate this particular data. So that on a click on the button, the div will be empty before the result will be passed. Okay, now there is a jQuery each loop, which actually speeds out the result from the JSON API. Okay, and we are actually calling on the data and the results field, which we get from the data, the results array. Okay, I want you to actually focus on how to iterate that using the each or each loop. And after that has been executed, we call on the div, which is the main page that holds on to this, that holds on to the uh, return values from the API. Okay, we get to append some chunk of markups, inclusively with a particular event number, run ID, which we called out from the value PS the event number, the run ID, the finish position, gender position, event date, run time, and point. These are the major calls of the value from the JSON uh, array. Now it comes in two arrays. It, can, it, it may be more than this, but actually we're going to speed this out to the console. Okay, now I want you to notice this keyword that is used with the value pairs of the JSON. This is very important. And uh, looking at the way the table is being structured, we have the table as a first tag, followed by the T body calling on the row, the table row, and also the 
TH scope row, concatenating some labels and continuing it with a TD, which continue to give it a column, a TD column. A TD column continues. So you close this up, you close the chunk of code appropriately with the T body, the table, and even the TR, the row first, the body, the table, and the div, which is the returning div. Okay, I will upload this code to my GitHub account, as you're seeing right on your screen, for you to use and get acclimatized with it. You know, I actually am very sorry for not writing this or not uh, typing this uh, while talking, but I believe that you should be able to get a full grip on this, even. Uh, so I would like to launch this and let's see the output on my Google Chrome web browser. Okay. Okay. On the click on the result button, fine. If you notice the event name, the run ID, finish position, gender position, event day, run time, and point where very much uh, itemized using the tables, you know, and also the bootstrap uh, table functionalities. So with this, you can decode any JSON API and also speed it out appropriately on your web browser, you know. With this uh, uh, analysis, you should be able to get yourself uh, on the fly with uh, the JSON API integration and also using the array uh, iteration. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful